Hello, I'm Landis, and this is Subnautica. In this guide, we'll be covering the dive suits in a little more detail. There are three dive suits in the game, the radiation suit, the still suit, and the reinforced diving suit, all of which can be made at a fabricator, in equipment, and personal. The radiation suit, which the game will give you shortly after the aurora explodes, will require two fibre mesh and two lead and comes with a helmet, gloves and the suit itself. The still suit, which if you don't have the plans for, you click the link in the card that will show you the location of the blueprints for the still suit. The still suit will require one synthetic fibre, one aerogel and one copper wire. The still suit comes as just a suit. Finally, the reinforced diving suit. Again, if you don't have, click the link in the card and that will take you to a video showing you the location. The reinforced diving suit will require one synthetic fibre, two diamond and two titanium. It comes with both gloves and the suit itself. Now each of these suits comes with its own specific job designed to aid you in the game. The radiation suit will protect you from radiation damage. But you do need to be wearing all three pieces, the helmet, the gloves and the suit. No combination of two or just one on its own will work. It's important to note that you do not need the radiation suit when handling nuclear rods or depleted rods or even just playing with a nuclear reactor. The still suit will passively generate water and put it in your inventory as reclaimed water which has negative 3 food and plus 20 H2O. It will generate 2.5 of these every in-game day and the reinforced diving suit increases your tolerance to temperatures while exploring the ocean and reduces the damage you take from fauna which we shall go into more detail in a minute. Now for a more detailed look at the speed. I ran several runs of 500 meters with lap markers every 100 meters. All runs were timed and an average taken. All of these runs were done with nothing but the suit and the standard fins for a 15% swim speed increase. Wearing no dive suit, the radiation suit or the still suit will give you an average speed of 7.2 meters per second. So you can wear the still suit or the radiation suit without affecting your speed. The reinforced diving suit however averages 6.25 meters per second, so considerably slower. Now for damage. I tested this with multiple different fauna, came to the same conclusion with all. For this example, I'll be showing you the stalker details. Wearing no diving suit, the radiation suit, or the still suit, all result in an average of 19 damage taken per hit from a stalker. However, the reinforced diving suit averages 9 damage per hit, or about 50% damage reduction. And finally, a little bit of information on withstanding the temperatures. Wearing no suit, the radiation suit or the still suit will result in no change to your ability to withstand temperature. The reinforced diving suit however, if you are wearing just one piece, either the gloves or the suit, you'll be able to explore and withstand temperatures up to but not including 50 degrees. If you are wearing both the gloves and the suit, you'll be able to explore and withstand temperatures up to 70 degrees. There are very few areas that go above 70 degrees, so the reinforced diving suit will pretty much allow you to explore almost all of the game. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like. If you enjoyed this video, then why not subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. And if there's anything you'd like to see or know, then leave a comment and let us know. I've been Landis, this has been a Subnautica Guide. Thank you very much, and see you soon.